What's up, Libra? Welcome to your reading and welcome to Tarotverse. Thank you for clicking. Let's go ahead and begin. This is going to be a bunch of oracle readings that will look at your relationship, but also just general spiritual energy at this time. And then we'll finish with that tarot reading about what's going on with your person of interest at this time. It'll all be chapter bookmarked below, but if the love reading resonates, I do recommend that you check out the oracle reads as well, because there will be love info in that, as well as just um, other info for you. Um, before we begin, I got my window open because I like the breeze, but there's people doing yard work in the front, and by nature, these people are boisterous, <laughs> so <laughs> you may hear some yelling. Um, if it gets too bad, I'll just go close the window. So, Libra. Hope you guys had a great birthday season. Um, there it is. It's like, where's my angel deck? So first and foremost, before we get into this reading, we're going to draw you a angel from Notoria. That will be an energy that it's kind of meant for you at this time. And we'll read about that angel later at the end of your love reading. But for my Libra collective, Who's coming out for you today? Ooh, the sun. And this angel's name is Seharyal. There you go. Excellent. Love this for you. So this guy popping out, obviously, wants to give you truth, clarity, light, happiness, and joy. You'll have to work for that, but I feel like this, this, is, the, this is the predominant energy that wants to be breaking in through the situations that you will find happening to you at this time. So realize that it really does feel like this is happening for your highest good in a huge way at this time. So this could be like a very momentous um, reading or moment in your life slash love life, Libra. So let's check out what that means um, for the book later. Cool card though. Now, depending on your placement, you're going to be a Libra sun, moon, rising. Maybe you're even a cross watcher or you have other other areas of, in your chart with Libra. But for the sun, moon and rising, I'm going to pull you a specific card for a specific energy for your placement. All the different placements will resonate because this is just like Libra energy at the end of the day. But if you're a Libra sun, this is the Tarot Obscuro from Etsy. If you're a Libra sun, if you're a Libra sun, which is most of you, um, this is your main energy that you should view the rest of the reading through and that card is going to be the hermit So the hermit's also Virgo um, just saying just throwing that out there, but In contrast to the Sun It feels like that you need to be in a more meditative reflective introspective state you respecting your energy comes through. you need to respect your energy at this time So spend some time with yourself get into that hermit mode energy and reflect um, let let something flow through you out of you cleanse be with yourself i suppose understand your energy respect your energy respect what you're doing to your energy respect people around you and how they interact with your energy look at all these things from a different perspective um but i do feel that a little bit of time on your own is needed so you need to take a break from something very likely if you're a libra moon Let's see what comes out. Ooh, what do we got for the Libra moons? That is the King of Cups. Again, very much like the Hermit. I feel this is a very reflective energy. But the King of Cups wants you to tilt that into the realm of your emotions and your heart space a little bit more specifically. So you need to look at how your emotions, especially in love, are affecting your energy, affecting you, affecting outcomes, affecting timelines, affecting your reality. Um, pay attention to your emotional energy and get a grip get control over it my libra risings and feel free to comment below um what your libra placement is if you're a libra rising if you're a libra rising what do we get for you libra risings this is the eight of cups There's a bit of a feeling of indulgence with the Eight of Cups. You might need to walk away from a, a certain kind of indulgence right now, as you may be overindulging, or it may just not be a good thing for you to be consuming physically, energetically, 
um, Libra risings are, are definitely being asked to consider what you need to walk away from right now before you even get into that hermit mode energy. What is around you? What, what is surrounding you right now that may just not be a good influence? What do you need to surround yourself with? That could be. I put the deck away, but you got to do cross watchers. If you're a cross watcher. Nine of cups. <laughs> All right. Moon at the bottom of the deck. I like that. Very emotional time for you. Libra in general. Emotions are coming to light of the sun. All right. But cross watchers. <laughs> you guys have a lot of expectations. Um, who's to say what comes to fruition and what doesn't? It's not your call to dictate the future. You need to be open to all possibilities at this time. You could be pleasantly surprised, but if you're hanging on to outcomes that are unlikely, you could be very much let down. Be open to all possibilities and outcomes, my cross watchers. So I think I left a candle burning in the other room. I'm gonna go turn it off and we will continue the reading. All right, we're just gonna spend a few minutes with this deck, but I like the messages that it sends. This is more for introspective work. Um, those of you that are choosing to improve your energy and work on yourselves. Let's get a little word of advice for Libra from the Minimalist Oracle. Number one, horizontal. It's a lot of advice coming out, bro. We'll do with it. Oh, okay. And I put it all in reverse, but that was an accident. Um, don't look into it. <laughs> First of all, the main card coming out was horizontal, which makes me think like, first of all, like time and things, it's not linear. It's, it's all kind of happening at once with many outcomes and possibilities, but you are in the physical realm where time is linear. Things are linear. So to get from one point to the other, you need to travel through time, through energy, through whatever. And in order to get what you want, you need to work for it in order to get where we're you want to go, you need to work for it. I think is the overall kind of thing that needs to be realized here is you need to put in that time, that effort, that energy and create that space for you to get to where you want to go. Courage, rest, growth, beginning. Those are your first four. Courage and rest. So some of you need to disconnect from something. I don't know what exactly that is, but to have the courage to be able to walk away and to take care of yourself. This could be you guys too stuck on trying to take care of somebody else, to be honest. It's a caretaker type mentality where it's like, I'm going to ignore my needs of myself, what I really want to, you know, like provide for this person or be like all stuck up on this person's energy. But now it's kind of time to withdraw, relax and understand that you are entering a growth period or you're growing right now. It may not be a person, by the way, this could be other things. You might just be kind of needing to just take a step back from life. I don't know. Um, but you are growing at this time. The sun shows me that and there's a new beginning kind of dawning where there's a lot more you involved, if that makes sense. The heart, destiny, silence, laws of the earth. Oof. Your heart definitely wants something. Destiny could play a role in this. Soul contracts, fate, all that kind of stuff. I'm not implying anything. Your brain will fill in the rest, but that's just your brain. Could be your intuition. But destiny is playing a role in something that the heart wants right now. Unfortunately, you need to quiet the mind and realize just like horizontal was green, there are laws that you must follow on the physical. What are they? And what does that mean to you? Finally, gratitude, spiral and procreation. Spiral is one of the most nebulous ones for me when it comes out. You know what I mean? It's like cycles, but it's also things becoming better, becoming worse, repeating. But then again, like healing is a spiral where you're always, it, it kind of feels like you're going back or forward, but you're always improving. Like when you're, when you're conscious of these things, I don't know if that's helpful to anybody. Needing to be more open. I feel like to other people and other possibilities is becoming very apparent here with some of the energy and the cards. Now, gratitude shows that you need to be, you need to pay respect to what is around you, to what is happening, to what is positive in your life. Food, 
money, clothing, friends, breath. Like you can be grateful for these things. And when you practice that gratitude for what you have, you start to introduce more joy into your life, which is the energy that you can work with. And I think more will come out of that. Co-creation makes me think of somebody coming in. So I feel like there's somebody in your radar or there's this energy of love. I believe that would be coming in. We'll probably see this in the love reading then. That's what it feels like to me. But you can call on this energy, if this makes sense, through gratitude. And there's also the necessity to understand that things are working in their own way. Laws of the earth, horizontal, not necessarily the way, Libra, that you want them to be. Moving on to the Oracle of Black Enchantment. <laughs> let's see what kind of story, ooh, let's see what kind of story this will tell us for you, Libra. The Oracle of Black Enchantment for Libra. What are we getting for you, Libra? Let's do a couple more. There we go. <clears throat> That's cool. Some of you guys made a new friend, a new relationship. I don't know if they're super a super good influence though this one at the top of the deck kind of feels like coming out all right <clears throat> there's somebody in your life this could be energetic this could be an opportunity but it's like you're pairing up with someone or something this seems like a good thing um you guys are moving forward <clears throat> you're moving you are be, you're able to break obstacles with this person, with this energy. I see a lot of movement forward in this kind of pairing with you. So this could be you pairing up in, in work with something new in your life. This could just be purely energetic, like you found something that is helping you move forward. This could also be a person or a relationship um, in which you feel a lot of movement and a lot of positivity. I do feel if this is a relationship, though, this is only temporary. Don't hold on to it too long. I know you hate that. You hate me. You clicked away. But, like, I do feel like this is something that, like, it's fun. It's here. But you don't hang on to it too hard. That would be the mistake. Just enjoy it in the present moment with basically no attachments. Because I feel like there's going to be a change here in love where something very big is coming to you. Because already in this connection, you're going to be seeing signs that there's a temporary aspect here. And there's very likely still something on your mind that is incomplete. Especially if this is romantic, there's still another person on your mind. You haven't moved on from them. And you're having fun, possibly with a new connection or something new. But like, you could even be like moving on just energetically with different things in your life, having fun with it. And in the back of your head, there is this relationship that I feel, it feels like the one that got away type deal. This is interesting. There's a lot of dreaming going on. Oh, I think you might be dreaming about them. And it's almost like they're dreaming about you too, not to like create anything toxic here. Um, there's a connection here between your dreams and the physical reality of possibly somebody else. This could also just be you. Um, this could also just be a call to the things that you're doing in the dream state. Dreams have been coming up a lot for the collective on the channel. I don't know why. I, I, it's just something I guess the collective wants you guys to look at, the collective like energy spirits or whatever. But I kind of feel like you may be sharing a dream with somebody. And you may have a conversation about this. This may not be someone romantic. This could be like a friend. You'll be like, hey, I had this dream and I think you were in it. And they'll be like, wait, I had that dream too. Something like this may be happening or coming up for you. Now, in terms of that one that got away energy, you do need to purge that a little bit. It feels like a deceit. It feels like a... You see this, okay? It just feels unfair. And the purging is just about getting over the fact that something felt unfair. Like, you don't need to close the door if you don't want to, whatever. Do what you want. 
but purge the fact that this is feeling unfair to you. You need to get that out of your system. Blah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Understand that justice will be served for you. Ultimately, I do think that, especially with the sun presiding with the angel over your reading, that Libra justice will be served for you. And I don't think this is anything that you have to do. You feel like it's your responsibility. No, your responsibility is to be true to yourself, to be purging negative things and moving forward at this time, enjoying life, practicing gratitude. You'll see the universe do the rest for you eventually. You don't need to put all of this into your hands. What were your main cards? The Hermit, King of Cups, Eight of... Yeah, like your, your main cards for all the different placements are just kind of like being with yourself, processing, um, letting go. If you do that, you align with your heart. Ding. And then I feel like the universe is going to be like, oh, Libras align with their heart. Let, now let me start doing the work that I can do because I can move energy much more easier, much more easily through Libra. Give me some cards for Libra. All right. All right, falling to the floor, we got decay, card number one. Something is ending here. It's ending naturally. Uh, don't be holding on to things right now. Realize that things are ending because the season is changing. Something's changing energetically for you. This feels like a good thing on my end. May not feel like a good thing on your end. But like even this card is pretty. Like the Decay card is a pretty card. So there's like beauty in this process that like Decay is a transformation. You see all the growth coming out of something dead. What else do we have? Intellect, Ascension, the Sage, and the Weaver. So now it's time for you to get like smart about things. To be honest, the, the laws of the universe is coming to me that we got earlier as I touch this card. And it feels like you need to start understanding how things are working in life. The energy, you know, manifestation, love, all this kind of like how it really works. Not just like what you want and your and your cognitive bias, you know, creating this, this cycle of basically pain and you not getting what you want because of it but really being able to be humble and to surrender and to understand how things work, including you, yourself, your own psychology and your own energy. And I feel like that's what this period is being, it's going to be highlighting this for you. This is a period where you'll become very wise if you allow yourself. Not everybody watching will accomplish this. Not everybody watching is going to be here. They're going to be in the love reading anyways, skipping this. But for those of you that this message is for, for those of you that really want to straighten up and learn and are ready to, to, to give up some things and walk away from some things and embrace what is coming for you, then I do feel like these cards are for you. This is your ascension period. This is where you start to grow and to understand and to learn and to just, you know. <laughs> and the Weaver shows that once you do have a better control of information, of knowledge, of energy, of all of the above. Once you just start to be humble and surrender, I think you'll you'll understand better. You'll be able to weave your own kind of destiny here, your own kind of path. You'll have more control over where you're going because you will be heart centered, which is great for you. We love that for you. Everyone's obsessed with it, um, and we're all happy about it. So let's draw a couple more cards for you, Libra, and see what we're getting for you. All right. For those of you that look up the shadows, shadows and dreams, shadows and demons, something like that, whatever this oracle deck is called, this is a combination of two of the artist decks in one, just so you know. Mask, terror, freedom. Okay. Pull off the facade and see things for how they are. Look at things realistically, including yourself. 
personas and, and masks and like visages and all these things. It's it helps you get through things, but this is a time to look at things with a very sober outlook, attitude, mind. Like you need to be like real with yourself about some things going on. This is your path to freedom, Libra. This is the information that you seek. It's the truth of the reality that you're in. And this is how you get a hold of it for real this time. Let's do one of these guys because I like this deck. Weird, the weirdest Oracle deck I have, I think, but I like it. Just give us a card for Libra, please. Please, give us a card for Libra. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Two cards coming out. Oh, bunch of cards coming out. I see a guillotine and I see two dead, dead head skulls. It's awesome. It's a great message. Um, anxiety. And then this says, miss you already. Ooh. All right, there's someone very important that wants to break through. I feel like this person is way back there, dead to you. <laughs> a dream, perhaps, a wish, a fantasy. Um, the feeling might be mutual, though. I feel like I, you know, I can't deny it with these cards coming out, you know? I don't want to create anything toxic for you, but there we go. That, that pushed itself out, right? So it wants you to know this, like in the background that likely there's still somebody kind of there energetically. Um, the guillotine shows a sharp cut in that connection or maybe even the necessity to cut that cord. It depends how it hits you. But again, be aware of cognitive bias during this reading. But I see you guys kind of mirroring each other and definitely being like interested or something like that. There's, just, there's an energetic thing still there between you guys. Now these two with sympathy, with sympathy degaf. That means don't give a fuck. And then we got this, the the chalice. I, I feel there's a new chapter starting for you in love because I still feel this, this burst of a person coming in. So you're either being asked to, I, you are being asked to just really leave something behind and to embrace whatever is coming for you. Could be them, could be somebody else. But you gotta like, I do think you gotta like really leave it behind, cut that cord. No longer let that connection energetically influence you. You know what I mean? And that way that that connection is free to do as it wants because it's not controlled anymore by your energy. And it will either manifest or it won't. The sun, I feel like that card is so powerful because that sun is going to bring to you what is best for you and bring to you the truth. The classic hand at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> What's at the top here? I don't even know what's going on there. I'm not even going to try these cards. If I read too many, they get me dizzy. Cleanse the dagger that hurt you. The knife in your heart. Cleanse it. <clears throat> That's a visualization process. Um, shall we go into the tarot? You guys ready? Libra. Welcome to your tarot card love reading. Let's see what's going on between you and your person of interest at this time. If it resonates, we will look at the future and clarify some of what we get here in the extended, which will be in the description box below. A big thank you to everybody that I did private readings with, which are now closed. Still a couple left to do, um, but it was a pleasure connecting with you guys. And I'm sure a lot of Libras came through. Uh, I didn't really ask for signs, so I didn't really get them, but I did make a lot of guesses. <laughs> You and your person at this time, my beautiful Libra. What or who are we gonna get? Let's look at your general overall energy, overall messages and love at this time for you, Libra. Okay, what's coming out for you? My Libra, my Libra. Overall general energies for you. Okay, Six of Wands, Chariot, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. First thing that comes to me is Mind Over Matter, Libra, Mind Over Matter. It's for, I see a lot of success in love with your obstacles. A lot of you guys have been struggling mentally with something. I was picking that up in the beginning of the reading with whatever we were doing in the beginning, a couple of those Oracle decks. 
and here too it shows it but it shows the triumph over that and again that sun energy presiding over the reading um is helping i want to say which will be helping you there's a feeling of freedom and stability coming into your love life with the chariot and the six of wands could show a cancer popping in as well but i think this just shows this kind of emotional freedom that you're getting i think that's going to be very strong and very powerful with you I also see you able to control your brain, your intellect, your thinking, um, to have a control over your psychology. And this is going to give you a deep energetic control over things. You're going to start feeling very abundant in love, very optimistic. I know a lot of you don't feel it now, but I feel like at some point soon, because of this reading, which resonates with you, you're going to feel refreshed, reborn new that blue jay's like yep your core energy fuck i'm gonna move them a little bit your core energy as it relates to another person You're having trouble moving away and finding balance with something. I just feel like there's somebody just stuck on your mind, like a fucking tick. You just can't, but like you can't like reach in and take it out. You know, it's just like there. And I see you working to free yourself, to move yourself away. But mm, it's hard. It's hard for you to find balance in this connection. Consciousness, consciousness, consciousness. Consciousness is almost just like surrender and just allow things to, yeah, you just need to just allow things to flow. Again, don't try to control it so much. You just need to be conscious more. You need to learn more and understand more. And that's going to help you find success in letting go. Letting go is important for you. Letting go should not be feared. What you let go of will come to you if it is meant for you. What you're hanging on to is not coming. It's not coming to you. You're not like something's not coming to you because a bird does not come to you if you cage it. It's just there. You're just keeping it there. You let it fly away and see if it comes back. So with like relationships or love energy, you let go. You'll feel better. And if it comes to you, then you know it's super meant for you. And if it doesn't, what does come to you is super meant for you. But I feel like there's this fear of lack of whatever. There's probably a lack of self-love. So you're hanging on to this this idea or this person. And that's creating this false idea that it's there legitimately tough, but the truth, which will set you and it free to do what it wants and take up the best results possible. There's something good coming in, but you've got to have space for it, Libra. That card popping out really kind of showing the the hanging on aspect there's two sides to this card and it's like you can hang on and there's no movement the energy just doesn't move or you could let go and wait with grace for something to come to you which side of that coin is happening in this card what do you see what you see could be quite telling all right your person Libra's person could be a could be another Libra. Honestly, it could be an Aquarius, <clears throat> maybe a Gemini. I'm feeling air with them for some reason. I'm seeing they're rising, air and they're rising. Uh, okay, your person, Libra. The, for real though. We get a little bit of Libra Gemini in their energy, but I'm also getting like a little um, Aries Leo, maybe even Sagittarius. So fire air. All right, what's going on here? 
with this person. First of all, I do feel that one of the reasons you're thinking about them is because they're thinking about you, but I feel like there's distance here. And I do feel like the reason that they're not coming through is because there's a lot of pain. Either that was caused between you two, or this person's just, they just have pain. You know, they're just in pain for whatever reason. Uh, that pain could come up because of uh, feeling depth with a person, relationship, you know, attachment style. That pain could come up because they suffered something recently or, or in the recent past and they're processing that. They don't want to be in a relationship. I feel that, that who they are is hurt. Who they are is hurt. And they don't want you to see that. But they're thinking about you and they're wishing that they could be with you. So, like, I'm annoyed by that. <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> it's just annoying. Like, okay, well, that's that, I guess. Like, they're not going to come toward you, but they want to be, right? So that, that's annoying energy, I feel like. Wish them well, but there's nothing I feel that you can do about that. Now, there is a little bit of a feeling of energy coming through. I want to clarify some of these cards and what they mean. I almost feel like this person is like about to budge, send you a message, and then they actually just convince themselves out of it. <clears throat> you make me happy, but I need to not do this. I need to invest in myself and build my life up. They are, they're letting you, they're letting you go. They're letting you go so they can fix their life because they're hurt. They're letting you go because you on their mind was distracting. They're letting you go because they couldn't handle the pain that was associated with being connected to you. And they need to and want to build their life up. But with the 10 of cups and like the nine of cups is attached to you. I feel like, oh, you're the one that makes them happy. And they realize this, but they don't like that. I feel that as they move on, you're still on their mind. It's very likely that other people are not comparing to you, Libra. That's kind of nice to hear, I guess. But does it does it fix anything? And should that be the reason that you hang on? No. Um, strength in the Knight of Swords. Because I feel a stubbornness. Now we're getting that stubbornness of a Leo coming through. There's a stubbornness here that this person is not trying to budge from moving forward right now, regardless of where their heart might be pushing them or their thoughts sometimes. So we're getting a split with them, a split in thinking. There's this two sides of them, the one that pushes, which is the stronger side right now, and the one that is still connected. And you're kind of feeling the one that is still connected, and that's kind of keeping you in a position. Are you keeping the energy? You know, are you holding on to that energy now? Or is the energy holding on to you, keeping you stuck in that cage? Is there a difference anymore? Consciousness is showing the awareness that is needed to move out of it, whatever that is. You holding on, or it holding on, or whatever. I see this person for the time being, again, they're being stubborn and they're sticking to their ways. I, do, I don't see contact with this person currently. Now your highest device is, of course, we already, we already talked about it, but um, now that we've gone through the whole thing, what's your highest device there, Libra? So this is about being true to yourself, being true to what your heart is really saying and how to fix your heart, how to mend your heart, how to communicate with your heart. You need to be fully honest with yourself and embrace every part of the spectrum of what your heart is feeling and saying. Part of them is going to say that you're attached, that you love this person. Part of it's going to say that you need to move on to heal. Part of it's going to say other things. You need to embrace it all, bring it all to consciousness and then understand what that means for you. The Page of Swords with the Queen of Cups could also be about maybe needing to cut a cord energetically. But it's really just about going into your heart and facing the truth and understanding what it needs and what kind of messages it's sending to you. We'll clarify in the extended and I'll go into the future to see is this person going to budge or not, Libra. Let's read about this dude, shall we? Six of 
se halial, God who moves all things. This angel grants us wings, enabling us to rise and take charge of our lives. Even if we have reached the pinnacle of the evolution of evil in its most rigid and distressing form, from which it seems impossible to get out. Sehalia restores our will, constituting a real turning point in the ascent or descent of our inner time. Attributions, the number 45, it's the chorus of virtue. The tarot, 19, the sun, the planet, the sun, the sign, Scorpio. Its esoterica association, however, is the Ten of Swords. The invocation, you can skip this if you want, is si dicebam motus est pesmeus misericordia tua domine adjuvibat me. All right, well, what are you still doing here? We got, we got to go to the extended. Let's go. If not, be sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Libra.